Hello, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Surviving Mars here on the Wooden Otter. Uh, if I'm remembering correctly, the last time we played, we uh, landed a rocket right on the downslope side of a ramp that I'm going to need to build in order to eventually have a dome capable of supplying myself with rare metals. Let's uh, do our standard thing where we come in panning for some reason. Here's our rocket. And here is our ramp. Uh, let's check on the rest of the colony real quick. Well first, before we go doing that, where is our drone? thought we had a drone. I mean, it says, oh, he's working. Look at him go. He's out here extracting waste rock. What I need to do is drive a couple more drones up here. This guy... Uh, oh, 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 shit, 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 shit. No, go back to do your thing. What I need to do is build a metals depot right here for him, so that he can do that. Whoops. Yeah, desired amount. We'll put all of it. Then we'll select this guy and say auto unload at nearest. Okay, yeah, perfect. Good, good, good. Let's go... Uh, Where's this dude going? Oh, he's just dumping it in a pile, huh? Cool. Oh, this is gonna take a while. Isn't it? The jumping site right there. Here comes the sun. Do 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 do. See what the rest of my colony's up to. We're doing all right on water because this thing is actually on. Our guys are working. So here's what I'd like to do. You've got a good battery. You're gonna go up here, say assign to that commander, Knight Rider number one. Let's see if we can't find another one. You there, you're good. We're gonna assign to this one. And one more should do it. Perfect. You're gonna go up there. So once again, our issues are finding and building another dome in order to have rare metals. And then obviously our food situation is rather low. Here's what I'd like to do. You there. Come in here. Can I get him to pick up food? Like, I want you to take this food and dump it in here, if you please. Drop carried resource. You really can't pick anything up, huh? All right, get out of here. Go about your business. This guy is, where does it say? Time to next harvest three souls. Time to next harvest one soul. Okay, so in one soul, we're gonna end up with probably nine point something or nine food. And then two souls later, 
Uh, we're gonna end up with six because it's 50% building performance. 12 leaf crops, 62% out of 12. 60%, well 66% of 12 is eight. So we're gonna end up with like less than eight. And this will be six, so that stinks yet. Understandable. Blue Sun will scan a planetary anomaly. Completed a milestone. Yeah, that's great. Get out of here. Our guys are driving up here. Let's see where he's going. Unloading cargo at target coordinates. Hmm. Yep, he's going to come drop it here. I'm not sure what that actually does for me, but it means that this dude has to drive less. So we'll make like a little mini base just for drones right here. Why is this dude not... Oh, construction site is being cleared. Of course. It's not like you can just drop rocks wherever you want, all willy-nilly. Well, there he is. He's cleared it, and he's built his thing. Ah, so what am I going to do? We're going to build this, and then, and then everyone will promptly die. So I need to have robotics like farther along, as far along as I possibly can get it. Um, let's see here. We've got uh, we've got another Martian born. What can I do here to help? I can put another living quarters for the growing population. And I can put a research station in perhaps. And the research will allow me to obviously research things faster, right? Because without research, I'll never be able to, ooh, maintenance is one and it takes five, ugh, I can't, I can't afford that. I will literally be killed. Nope. Playground's already there. Living space. No. Hmm. Yeah, I th think we're kind of stuck here. We need to... Outside range. Consumes oxygen and water depending on animal type. Food based on breed. Not really at the point where I care too much about that. What is this? Increasing 0.4. That's good. Alright, what else can I do to save my people? Not decorations. Uh... Gosh. Maybe a research lab is worth it if I've got 17, that'll got me down to 12, plus the maintenance. Oy vey. That research could go a long way towards building eventually shuttles. It's going to take seven more stinking souls.
Oh boy. All right, so <clears throat> let's do the mental math here. If I build a research station, a research lab, that's five electronics right off the bat. So we're down to 12, right? Because this is legitimately seven. 17 it's not like 16.8 or whatever it's 17 so that's down to 12 it's also going to increase my maintenance so right now my maintenance is at 0.2 because of this building and i think that's it in terms of things that use electronics for maintenance like whoops Oh, you've got 10 in there and seven right here. Oh, well, let's, um, why, why would you do this? Why would you do this to me? What are you doing? You fool thing. Uh, Depot electronics here. All of them, sure. Um, back to what I was saying. So, I think the only thing that consumes electronics as maintenance is this. And it's obviously one every five souls, unless something weird happens, which is why it's point two. So, I'm assuming the same thing will happen with the research station. It'll be once every five souls. So I'll be down to 12 electronics and I'll be up to 0.4 for maintenance. 12 divided by 0.4 is roughly 24 souls. Right? Like if it was 0.5, it would be 24 souls. But it's 0.4, so maybe I'll get like 28. 28 souls? Um, oh, it's going to be cutting it close. How close are we to having more kids? Births are allowed. Birth threshold 55. And the comfort is 57. What is everyone working on? Here's the thing, I don't want to build it and not have enough people going to it. So I've got 14, so that's three, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. What is my 14th person doing? Where are they working? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I don't know what... I don't know what the 14th person is. Oh, duh, this guy. Uh, let's see. Oh, well, I guess that would make sense. Because I've got 14 people, but only 13 of them are actually working. So, farm. Infirmary. Farm, space bar, farm, farm, grocer, farm, farm, space bar, infirmary, grocer. Okay. Good oh boy. What is this? Ooh, comfort. An unprepared meal, couldn't go shopping. This guy is gonna get pissed. And he's a party animal. I don't know what to do for you, buddy. We just gotta get more food before we can get let you go shopping. And that's this guy, Erling Olson. Ooh. 
can't live like this. Negative 10 from comfort. Weird. Um, so let's see, there's... In the research, there are three shifts of three. So I could shave off dining social food. I should stop this work and start this one. Dining social and food. So I could shave one person off of this. Shave one person each off of the hydroponic farms. Oh, get the heck out of here. We do not need you here. Go back and work on the farm, please. Thank you. Don't need you fucking up my food supply. Um, so I can shave one person off of this. So that's one, two, three. Maybe four. I could get... I can get at least one full shift in. All right, we're gonna pull. We're gonna pull the trigger on this. It's not great. Not a great uh, plan. But I don't know how else to get enough research to actually be able to do what we need to do. So. God, five electronics, that is... Oh, that makes my heart hurt. It's gonna be so much. Meanwhile, these guys are just chugging away. 5%. What is this dude doing? Hold on. Uh... Load up the electronics. <clears throat> Give me them electronics. Yeah. Four, five, six, nine, ten. No, don't unload the car target coordinates. Please come down here. Come down here. We're just gonna watch this guy for a minute. Well, that gets boring real quick, doesn't it? Resources are low on food. Who knew? Who knew? What? What? Okay. That's weird. Didn't like when I tried to pan and rotate at the same time. Alright, look at this. Uh, so we're going to take the second shift off of this. Take one guy off of this. Oh boy, we're gonna we're gonna be hurting for food. Let's see if I can't do this without taking one guy off of that yet. Uh, you get out of here, and you get out of here. Yeah. All right, we're gonna start with. One entire shift of people. Fifty-seven, sixty-nine, forty-seven. Ah. 
heavy workload. Let's see how badly these guys hurt. Wolf. Russell. And Agatha, right? Agatha. Let's see what you do. If we get more than a hundred per soul, base research per soul, 125, boom. All right, so I've like have the time to research. This is great. This is worth it. This is gonna be worth it. If I could just get shuttles, then we'll be good. You, uh, unload there. You can go work for this guy. You, nope, you, yes. You can go work for that guy. What is this? Still getting good. Oh, crap. I've only got two, six machine parts. What does machine parts actually use? It's because it takes electronics as maintenance, that's why. Um, 95 concrete should be enough. Let's turn you off. Sector scan. Cool. Sector F5 scanned. Where is that? Oh, down here. Wonderful. Yeesh. One twenty five. I wonder how much this pisses these guys off. Research lab. I'll have to check on them after a day or two in the high stress research environment. Oh boy. Let's see here. Power's full. Oxygen's full. Water's full. Food is okay. And okay. Four there, five there. None outside. All right, that's not bad. We're doing okay on um, food, actually, which is good. If I get to 15, I'm going to need another housing complex. But at that point, I'll be able to have... Oh boy. What does that do to my... Oh, it only raises it to 0.3, not 0.4. That's wonderful. Machine parts maintenance, 0 0.07. What uses machine parts? Machine parts. Nope, nope, nope. What uses machine parts?
Or am I missing something? Something uses machine parts. And I know it. It's this thing. It is the wind power plant. <clears throat> turn it off and that would save me a lot more we'll turn it on and we'll put it on low because it says uh, I think low things don't get maintained I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to turn it off just to be safe. I don't actually care about that much power production. So now... Yeah, my maintenance should be pretty low. Okay. We're doing good. We are doing good. Heavy workload. So it's sanity. Workload. Mm, this person hasn't hit it yet. But that's good. The heavy workload is good. Inflict sanity and health penalties for the worker. Where's the health? Health. So for every day of heavy workload, it takes two days to recover. That's still okay. So we're gonna end up with like six food each cycle. Not the best. Um, what is my research doing? I'm at 72%. work efficient and requires no power. Can't really afford to do that. Because it takes six people, so it's still the same number of people. And it's three times the space. Yeah, I don't know. If the farm is worth it yet. I might be able to just squeak by with this. Scan the planetary anomaly. Great. Low research. Also great. Stored food, 0.4 out of 100. That's a lot. Nope, this guy needs to go back and do auto gather. Oh, he's done? He's done. Weird. Let's start talking about how this We've got six things working here. Eventually, we're going to want a dome. Uh, well, hold on, let's see. Production, we need a rare metals extractor. Oh my god, we need people for this. Ugh. Factories, concrete extractor, metals extractor, rare metals extractor. So this is going to need to be close to these two things. Too far from domes. Oh shit. Uh, domes, we're going to need 
research moisture farming to build moisture evaporators or get prefabs from Earth. Oh my god, we don't have moisture evaporators. Water tank, oxygen tank, food depot, power cables and pipes. Um, low, very low. We don't have water up here, do we? Okay. Alright. Don't bother scanning these because we're already kind of dedicated to this. Scan this. Uh, yeah, that. Sure. Yep, that one. This one. This one. scan up here rare metals water if we get water up here we'll be able to build up here we'll do a water extractor and a pipeline god I'm gonna have to fuel this stupid thing up here aren't I um you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna build a depot for fuel and it's gonna go right here Oops, and this thing is going to want like 50 fuel. It's going to want like 60 fuel. Like so. And then we'll go down here and we'll say trade route. We'll go here, load fuel and bring it to here. I want to get that fuel. You can carry 45 for crying out loud. That's basically the whole amount anyway, because this thing only has 48. So, And this one has eight. So, yeah. Great dust on the coaching. Oh, crap. Ugh. Moxie's moisture evaporators do not function. Solar panels close. Shuttles don't work. Static dust storms. Crap. Where is the dust storm warning? I guess it doesn't really show you exactly where. Oh, this guy's an idiot. I forgot. Oh, God. No idea. Probably the whole area. Let's see. She's still okay. He's still okay. He's still okay. Great. 78%. Still only 14 people. Uh, let's just select the whole thing. Births are allowed, 55, and the comfort is 53, so that's 
not quite what I was expecting. But that's okay. We're gonna get the fuel up to... Pretty much about to go. We got 45. This is 11, so that's 56. This thing still makes four per soul, so 56 is 60. So literally one more soul will have enough fuel to fuel the rocket up so that when the ramp is done, we'll pick this rocket off and land her up here. I don't think we can get uh, what's it called? The self-sufficient one to work. Because we simply don't have the moisture evaporators. Microdome? Microdome will be basically a living spot, a um, like a food place, and then everyone will run outside to do rare metals extraction, right? Consumption, five, half and half. Microdome might be good for this. Like we can't, we can't even get both of these. So like, there's no point except for this one, which even then you'd have to put it like here some crap. You basically have to put it like right outside the stinking dome exit. Oh god. We're gonna want to be near the water though. So. Blocking objects. Uneven terrain. So we can do this. I don't know. One diner. That's great. 22%. Good lord. Come on, man. Six, this guy is seven. We've got drones just sitting here with their thumbs up their butts. Go work for this guy. So now it's seven the other direction. And I'll make it eight. Eight to five. this, but this should be easy. Map. 
on the map, on the map, on the map. Oops. So what does it take to build a scanner tower? It takes an electronic. Boo! trade pad. See what that does for us. Can we do that? Let's build it right here. Like this. Just to see. Just to see what it does. For this dust storm. This dust storm is going to kill me. Moisture evaporators aren't going to work. Uh, it's going to last like five sticky days. These at least will be full. Discharging, decreasing. All right, this guy's got 14.5. And this is 38, so that's 52.5. And seven. So, no more fuel has to come up here, that's for sure. Twenty-five percent. This can go away. <sighs> getting nervous, guys. I'm getting real nervous. So we've got a plan, we're researching some stuff, All right, what's our research at? 89%, god I hope, if this is shuttles, I would be crazy happy about it. Yeah, because pretty much no matter what, I can't get people there without shuttles. Well, here's a dust store. What is happening? I guess it's just being dusty. Ooh, there it goes. Doesn't function during dust storms. <clears throat> Decreasing 1.1. Ew. 0.8. Negative 9. Um. Turn that off. Water. Agatha's doing okay. This guy is not doing that great. This guy is not doing that great. Alright, um, I'm gonna turn off the heavy miss. Base research for soul, 93. Come to that life support. Leak, oh, son of a... Mm. You better be going to... Friggin... 
fix this. Dust sickness. Fine Martian dust can be a serious health hazard. We thought that our airlock filters could handle it well enough, but this particular dust germ got the better of them. So kind of Strongly recommends that we discharge those affected with the dust sickness from work so they can better manage the alien. Colonists suffering from the dust sickness shouldn't work. We need everyone to pull their weight. They should continue to work. Mm, stay home. Oh, what does that do to our work? Well, two of these guys are gone. One of those guys, one of these guys. No one's working here. How many unemployed people are there? Freezing. You're freezing. Insufficient power. Yeah, because we're leaking it. Fix that leak. Fix that leak, you bum. Good lord, how long does it take? Ugh. There, leak detected is gone. This is still discharging. We're going to be screwed here on power. Export. Metals. Import. Well, right now we're going to have to import. Well, let's import electronics. Export amount 50. Yeah, like I'll give you all the freaking electronics you want. Let's see if that works. I know this is a little bit of a cheat in terms of easiness, but uh, that might be the only thing we have to do. Or the only thing we can do, rather. Great. You offloading all your stuff. 36, 22. You might be like. 23, 36, 23. So that's going to be 69 and a half. Is that what? <sighs> Is that serious? Annoying. All right, guys. Well, that's going to have to be it for this episode of Surviving Mars. Uh, I hope you don't think less of me for having this trade port. Good lord, we're falling apart here. Leak detected. Oh, no one cares. Don't care. No one's about life support. No power. No kidding. Uh, open them up. And open them up. We're still... We've got no power here. Diner can be like medium. Medium. High. High. This thing can be low. High. Ugh. Jesus. Keep it, we'll keep it, uh, medium. Hmm. What is happening? This is high. This is good. All right, everything seems to be good. Let's 
Sterling generators are working. Production, demand, we're actually charging. Uh, oxygen's okay, water's okay. New trade route, Russia. 195 for 50. A hundred ninety five for fifty. We will send fifty electronics in exchange for a hundred and ninety five contract concrete. That is That's good. Like concrete and metals, you don't have this stuff? That's ridiculous. Um, believe it or not, we're kind of good in terms of electronics right now. Do I want to do this? I don't think I want to do this. Russia, you're my boy when it comes to trade routes, because that is an absurd amount of electronics that I can use, but I think... <sighs> we'll see. We'll see if we come back to this. We might come back to this, so... Um, yeah. Guys, uh, this will have to be it for surviving Mars here on the Wooden Otter. Um, We've got some options now. We've got the option to take a trade with Russia uh, or see where our research bears out and see if we can end up with shuttles and a second dome in order to be self-sufficient. Uh, I kind of want to try and go for the self-sufficiency route because we've put a lot of effort into this base and doing it ourselves. So. Uh, I might wait until the last second until we're about to start to crumble here before we take a trade. But uh, in the meantime, we'll just keep plugging away. So I hope you'll catch me next time uh, on another Friday here on Surviving Mars on the Wooden Otter. I will catch you then. Peace.